Hey everybody, welcome to video number two with these Photoshop tutorials I'm in the process of making for y'all. Um, you can see I'm leaving off, or I'm starting this video exactly where I left off on the first video, and this is video number two. If you haven't already watched video number one, go to my channel and check it out here on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clear out what we did last time. <clears throat> Or I can exit out, either way, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to go up like I showed you last time, file, new, and we're going to create a, a new image, a background. This time let's do it a little bit different. I wanna make a rectangle that is like landscape mode, okay? Say this would be more of something like a banner on a website shape or like the cover photo they use on Facebook. It'd be more of a shape like that. So that's the shape we're wanting to focus on. So we have our width at a thousand, our height at a thousand. So let's say, let's drop this down to, uh, like for example, let's do 450 and see what it looks like. Okay, so there we have a nice rectangular shape. In this one, we're going to be going over the paint brushes, which is this little tool right here. And you can see if you right click on it, you have a brush tool, pencil tool, color replacement and mixer tool. We're just going to be going over the brush tool because you can do almost everything you're going to want to do with the brush tool. Now you can see this circle as I drag it around, that's how that's how big my brush is going to be right now. Okay. Anytime you ever do something and you don't like it, you can just go to edit. You can either do step backwards or undo brush tool and it is gone. So say if I'm making dots and I accidentally click, oops, edit, and then I can continue, okay? Just like that, step backwards, step backwards, back to a clean slate. Up here at the top is where you're going to have your brush tools. I never change the mode, but you're, you can feel free to exp um, explore with that if you want. Mostly what I'll mess with is my opacity and the actual brush size. And there's also a few different effects that you can download more, but these are some that came with it. Like this brush right here would be, I think it's supposed to be like a blade of grass or something. Just click and it kind of like a grass effect, only but we're using red, I should be. Let me switch that over to green, see what it looks like if it's green. It's pretty cool actually. And then now we'll come to our eraser. Since I clicked like 50 times right there, we obviously don't want to sit here and go to step backwards over and over. So I'm just gonna sit here and I'll just brush it out. Let's go back to our brush tool. Go back to the normal one, which is just like that. Now our size, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is measured in pixels. Now if you can go up to 2,500 pixels and that would be huge. It won't even fit on the screen. Let's say 349 is that big. Then you got one, obviously, which is going to basically be a pencil. Okay. And like I showed you in the first video, here is where you can change your colors. Let's go ahead and go a little bit more into depth with that. This first one right here is used as like your brush color. And then the back one right here, which is currently white, that's actually our eraser tool. And from my experience, that's how I found out how it kind of works. But we have this and this will allow us to pick our colors. Now you can go online and there's a lot more advanced ways to find colors. Um, and you can go in and type your, um, I believe it's called like a hex decimal code right here, which is, this is actually the code for this green we have selected. But you can go up and down right here. Let's say we want to get like an orange color. So I'll scroll this down to the orange. This one is a little bit harder color, it seems like to find, but here we have an orange. This is what it's actually going to look like. So you can drag this, see how that changes. All over here is white, and then you got black, gray, and then we're up here to more of an orange. So where you get it, when you get it where you want it, then all you gotta do is click OK, and you'll see you um, have picked the new color. You can confirm right here. Let's go change our brush size. Let's put it up to like 50. And there you have it. You can you can uh, do exactly, I mean, just unleash your creativity 
and do whatever you want to want to do okay so we just drew something here I don't even know what this is just having some fun showing you guys okay and then the other one I was talking about is your opacity I believe I'm saying that right that's how I've always said it but a hundred percent is when it's at as dark as the color should be and you can click on it and go all the way back to one which is what this does is makes it like partially transparent so you have like if I put it on 90 the best way I can explain this if I can get it on 90 oh well 91 is good enough that means we're gonna use like 91% color and then like 9% transparent if that makes sense so let me compare here here's our darkest here's at 91% we can go down to right about 80 you'll start noticing a trend here soon if you haven't already so it's getting lighter and lighter you can see through it more as the percentages go down now this tool is very cool because it allows you to do lots of really neat things with it get all the way down to like 10 and then it's barely even visible so it goes light darker 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 the way we went is the higher this percentage though you're getting full color the lower this is like this I mean you can't even really see that but something I like to do is you can start with a lighter color let's put it on let's say 30% I'll change my color here let's get like a red color this is our 30% red now watch what happens when I cross these over you should get 60% right where they cross Okay, so you got 30, 30, and then in the middle it's 60. Now if I cross it again, in the it's going to be a smaller middle, but there should be what? Like 90% red there then? See, it's darker in the middle. So you can definitely do lots of cool things with this. Like I said, this is something you just kind of want to explore around with. And the deeper you go over, you can see it's going to make it darker. Just like this. Light, darker, darker until it's as dark as it can get and then also one other effect that you'll find that comes in handy is this one is kind of like a, a blur when you come and click on it and you'll see exactly what that does it's kind of like a like an airbrush maybe more actually like a real paintbrush even it kind of fades off to the side so that's a fun tool but if you're just wanting like nice solid lines you want to pick the solid one Okay, and then once again, here's our eraser, and you can, you know, also pick the opacity on that. Let's say we want to erase 50% of this orange here. Look at that. That's taking half of the color away. And now I can come back with the red, and I can put the red right there. We got red and orange, but you can still see through them, so that's really cool. We're coming up to the end of this video. Hopefully you learned some more with this one. This is basically going over the paint brushes and things like that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, don't forget to check out my website, www.noxad.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in video three.